guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a bit of a different video. I always get comments on my videos asking what kind of equipment do I use, uh, specifically what kind of camera I use. So I decided to just make a video about all of the extensive collection of filming. No, I, I literally have no equipment. I have very little equipment, but I make it work with what I have. So that's mainly why I wanted to make this video. I just want to make a bit of a disclaimer. Most of my videos, I've been making videos for two years. 95% of my videos were made with just one camera and one lens. These two. It, it wasn't until recently when I went to, when I won YouTube Next Up that I was able to get a couple more lenses and also a vlogging camera and some lighting equipment but that was until recently that was back in September so I've only been, had this much equipment for like a couple months um, but yeah I'm just gonna start with my vlogging camera this is my camera that I use for vlogging and when I say that I use for vlogging it means that I've used it for one video I think that I have on my channel so far because like I said I just recently got this it's an amazing camera the quality is great and it's no wonder why so many youtubers have this camera because you can flip the screen and just vlog yourself like this and you can see what's happening up here it's very convenient to have this so you can see what you're vlogging uh, I bought the video creator kit, which came with this little mini tripod. It's a little Manfrotto tripod. Manfrotto is a really good brand for tripods. So yeah, if you're looking to get a vlogging camera, it's not very expensive and the quality is great. The sound is not bad either. I really recommend this camera. It's the Canon G7X. Next, I have the camera that I've used for 90% of my videos. Since I started my videos, this is the camera that I use. It's the Canon 60D, and it's a great camera, but the bad thing about it is that it does not have autofocus on video mode. So if you're looking for a camera for photography, this camera is great, but for video, it's not that great. That being said, I did manage to make my, like I said, 90% of my videos just with this camera. Yeah, it was really a struggle that it didn't have autofocus on video mode because whenever I was filming by myself, I couldn't really move or anything because then all of the footage would be out of focus. And you can actually see that some of my videos from before are out of focus. Yeah, it, it was a struggle and sometimes I had to refilm videos. Sometimes I just said, oh, F it, I'm not gonna film again. That being said, it's a really great camera. Uh, it's a really good DSLR, it's very sturdy and it has lasted me for five years that I've had this. Um, I used this all throughout film school too. Now I have the one that comes after this one, which is the 70D. And the only reason I have it is because one of my friends was selling hers for really, really cheap. And I was really desperate to have a camera that has autofocus. That way I could just turn it on and then come film and I could move and it would be so much easier to have a camera with autofocus. So she was selling it for really cheap, like, I don't know how she sold it to me, <laughs> like, so cheap. Um, so that's why I got the 70D. But also, the 80D is out, the one that comes after the 70D. So if you want to get a Canon from this series, I would suggest getting the 80D, which is, which is the latest one. To be completely honest, in this day and age, I wouldn't recommend the 60D just because of the autofocus, like if you want to make YouTube videos, but if that's what you have, then it will work great. My videos from a couple months until now have all been with the 70D. Okay, now lenses. I'm gonna start with this one actually, which is a Canon 50mm lens, um, 1.8, because this is the lens that I used in every single one of my videos. It is the only lens I had throughout the two years that I've had my channel. This is the only lens that I've used up until two months ago when I was able to get more lenses. I made every single one of my videos with a 50 millimeter lens, which I still don't know how. It was very annoying sometimes because I could never get uh, wide angle shots. You know, I, I was stuck in a 50, which 
looks beautiful, of, of course, and it's great for when I'm filming like this, a, a sit down video, but sometimes it would be annoying because I would have to get the camera really far away in order to like have a normal frame like this. I somehow made it work throughout this past two years. This is a great, great lens. It looks beautiful. It's really cheap as well. I think it's like $125, which is insanely cheap for a lens. One that is a little bit more expensive, but after like reading reviews and stuff like that, I figured it wasn't really worth it because this one, like I said, is great and for the price. You can go watch my past videos. I think the quality is great um, for the price. So yeah, I wouldn't really change this lens. And if you're looking to get a, a, a cheap 50 lens, I would get this one. This is not the cap, I lost it. So I got a cheap, a cheap one. Um, okay, after I won the YouTube next step thing, um, if you haven't seen that vlog, I made a vlog about it and it was a really exciting um, competition, I guess, uh, and I was able to go to the YouTube space for a whole week um, and get a bunch of YouTube classes and workshops and woo, I need to sneeze, but it went away. After I graduated from the program, um, they give each and every one of the YouTube Next Stop winners a voucher for equipment, for production equipment. So I was able to buy a couple lenses that I was that I really wanted, specifically wide-angle lenses that I felt like I needed the most. So I got a 24 millimeter lens that's really wide, and I haven't used it a lot yet because I just got it. Yeah, a 24. I think everybody should have a 24 millimeter lens, a 15 millimeter lens, and then whichever zoom lens that you prefer. Now everything will be easier whenever I want to get a wide shot. I won't have to go extremely far away to get it with my 50 and it will look great. I also got a 35 millimeter lens, which is what I'm filming on right now on my 70D. This is what you're seeing with my 35 millimeter lens. I wanted to get the 35 in order to film videos like this. And I think having something in between the 25 and the 50 is great. So I got the 35 millimeter. And the reason why I got so many prime lenses is because I like prime lenses a lot more than zoom lenses. Zoom lenses are the ones that you can change the focal length, you can go like, for example, this one. This is the zoom lens, it's 18 to 135 millimeter. You can go from 18 until 135. The quality of zoom lenses are is not as great are as prime lenses because there's a lot more glass involved in the lens. I like the quality of prime lenses a lot more, it's a lot better, so that's why I got so many, uh, well so many, oh my god, three, three prime lenses versus one zoom lens. This is actually the kit lens that came with the 60D. Uh, ooh, sorry. To be completely honest, I don't use this lens. I just have it just in case. I haven't really been in a situation where I need it so much. So I don't really use this lens. For photography, I can't really speak because I don't really do photography. So this might be a great lens for photography if you're starting out. And like I said, it's a kit lens that came with a camera, but here it is. Okay, now for sound equipment, I have this Rode mic. And to be completely honest, I don't really use this unless I'm out and about shooting people on the street or something like that. Um, and the reason is because this mic is not that great with my camera. There is a really loud hiss noise that this makes and I've googled it, I've tried to fix it with the settings in it, the, with the settings in the camera and I've, I've fixed it a little bit but to be completely, completely honest, my phone records better. So that's why I have my phone right here because I'm actually recording the sound with my phone. But nonetheless, I still use this for videos that I'm like, if I'm interviewing people on the street or something like that, if I'm out in, on the street where I can't really use my phone, then I will use this because it is better than a camera with no mic, you know, with just the internal mic of the camera. I do have a Manfrotto tripod, which my camera is sitting on right now. The tripod, I got it again with the voucher that I got from YouTube Next Up. It has worked wonderfully, wonderfully, 
yeah it's a manfrotto which i really like that brand because they're very sturdy they're really good tripods and yeah it goes up very high i'm not sure the height sorry about that but i'll try to look i, I will look for all of the names and leave them in the description below if you want to you know look for these items yourself i really like this tripod i've had some tripods that were just absolute crap <laughs> and this one so far has worked great lighting equipment i again for the whole two years that i've had this channel i have not had any lighting equipment at all i usually try to film during the day which sucks because sometimes if i'm busy during the day and i can't film until night then i can't film because i don't have any lighting equipment with the voucher i did get a couple of soft boxes that I thought I honestly had never heard of the brand or anything like that but I just wanted to get a couple of soft boxes that could help me right now you're seeing only one soft box on this side and then just the window on this side which before I could only film this way facing the window or else I would be it would be too dark on one side they are huge soft boxes which um, is great if you want to light up um, a lot of space they can also uh, change the color temperature which is also great last but not least my phone uh, I have made a couple of vlogs with my phone um, and it has worked perfectly <laughs> sorry guys like I said in my last video I have really bad aller allergies and during this time I don't know why my allergies have been crazy anyways I use my phone I've used it for vlog footage before I had this camera I made a couple vlogs with my phone which worked great i think and also i use it for my sound equipment <laughs> my next purchases i say it like i have the money right now or the plans to buy something but in the future whenever i can buy something else other another piece of equipment i really want to get a monitor that way i can just hook it up to my camera and i can actually see what i'm filming because right now i can't really see and also I really want to get some sort of sound equipment as you can see I don't really have a lot of equipment 90% of my videos I made just with these two 60d 50 millimeter lens that's it no lighting no sound no other mics not even a tripod I use my roommate's tripod but yeah but I managed to make it work and make what I wanted to make without you know thinking oh i can't do this i don't have any lighting equipment oh i can't do that i don't have a wide angle lens i don't have blah 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 you can make whatever you want you just have to be creative with it you don't have to have the latest equipment or the best equipment um if you want to make it work you can just because you don't have you know different lenses or a camera with autofocus on video or a good tripod or lighting equipment you can still make great videos yeah if you're just if you're creative with it that's what i've learned in these past two years that i've had my channel and i'm really lucky that i was able to win that youtube next up contest thing because now i have more equipment but still if i didn't have this equipment i would still try to make it work somehow like i would be sitting this way instead because i wouldn't have this light luna Para. you just have to uh, struggle a little bit until you can buy more stuff <laughs> i guess anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you found it useful if you have any questions about these specific things uh, just ask me in the comments below and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below and give me a like and subscribe if you haven't and what else? Oh, and turn the notification bell and also, I don't know, go to my Instagram and also comment on my latest picture and also, uh, I'm just kidding guys, you don't have to do all that if you don't want to. Now I'm just rambling. Bye. Thank you for watching.